Guys, how are you? Back with more flipping houses. <clears throat> I don't mean it in that way. Uh, so yeah, we bought a house yesterday that was all... You know, I also did this because that was annoying me. Apparently that's classed as a bed. So that's all good, right? Uh, anyway, we bought this house, which is the house after the flood. And you saw me trying to clear some stuff out with it, uh, replastering all the walls, because apparently this appears to be a localised flood, localised specifically to this house. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that's happened. The bottom half of the wall, maybe he, uh, he wanted a swimming pool. I decided to turn his house into a swimming pool, I don't know. Anyway, I did a few bits that we didn't do on stream uh, because I'm going to put some panels on the outside of the house. Something that I haven't done previously in any of the other homes. I did most of them, uh, but we still need to do that wall and a couple of spots on the ceiling. In order to do that, we are going to need to buy some ladders. I'm hoping that just a ladder is enough. But I need panels, I need a panel to put on there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so we need to get some brick panels to put on the walls outside. Just to try and make the outside look a bit better. It was those bricks we had. I think I'll probably need two packs of these. Actually, let's make it three just in case. So yeah, I've spent quite a lot on doing these. I only need this ladder to do one thing. That. Uh, actually, that's not entirely true. I need to use it around this corner as well. Because there's also a higher panel that I couldn't reach. There too. So we'll quickly put this last panel on this side of the house and then we've just got the other side to do. That'll be good. And we can just walk right up the old ladder like nothing's happening. Okay. Don't need that now. <laughs> so that was a bit of a, an interesting thing. Uh, right, let's carry these round a little bit so that we can see what we need to do a bit more easily. Uh, yeah, I didn't need a ladder for there, so that's fine. So yeah, basically we just need to get, get panelling for the outside, because obviously it looks a bit rough with all the flooding damage. Even though it's been plastered, the plaster looks a bit crap. Let's be honest. So, you know, we want to make, make it a bit better. We want to make it much more interesting. Or at least a little bit different. It looks quite a bit different from any of the other houses in the area because they all have wooden panelling on the outside. But this one's going to have bricks. Why? Because, you know, it sets it apart from everything else around it, doesn't it? Exposed brickwork. I think we might need more than three packs of panels. Possibly. I've noticed as well, see if you do this right, looks like you've used all the panels. But there is one hidden in the grass. So yeah, we just need to get this, uh, get the outside of this house done before we move into the inside. And I can show you what I've kind of thought of doing with that, which is we're going to try and make the house for that. Well, they're actually at the top of the list right now. That older couple. Now, the biggest thing that that older couple like is they don't want more than three rooms in the house. Which seems a little odd because they do want a lounge, but they also want a kitchen and obviously they want a bedroom and a bathroom. So the solution to that of course will be to make the living room the kitchen as well. Don't really have any other choice there. Or you could make the kitchen on its own and the living room, in, living room into both a living room and bedroom or lounge and bedroom if you prefer. But I think it would be better to make the living room kind of open plan with the kitchen. At least that way, 
kind of makes a bit more sense, you know? Plus, these people have some really infuriating ideas. Like, really infuriating. Oh no! Ah, oh, bugger. Balls. As they might say. Absolute pain in the hoop. Still, we're almost there. So, I might need another package of these. If I do, that's fine. But we're getting there. We're almost done. We are almost done. Oh, I played a game earlier, by the way, that was just... I didn't know what was going on with it. Um, <laughs> a game on, on uh, at Steam called A Dump in the Dark. It's a game where you, it's like a first person perspective game. It's a first person shooter. It's taken from the perspective of someone's uh, rear end. And the weapons you use are projectile defecation. It's very nice. And also I found it almost unplayable. So I probably won't play that on a stream anytime soon. <laughs> but you never know. I swear, some people come up with some ideas and I just think, where, wh why? Why did you come up with that idea? And I suppose the answer is, why not? Right, so there's only, what, three more panels left here? Which means we are going to need one more pack. It's the windows, you know? If it didn't go, oh no, you need to separate this by the window. If it just put it above the window, so much easier. There should be one more panel, but um, bugger if I can see where it is. There it is. <laughs> right, so we're going to need one more pack of these wall tiles. I hope it's just one more pack. It's just annoying that we have to buy... Yeah, let's smash them. That's a good idea. We've just bought them. Let's smash them. get the full panels that we can do because that's a lot easier. Right, so we should have, what, three more, or well, two more panels on the bottom and then just the panels on the top that we need to deal with. I've got a horrible feeling that we're going to need to buy a pack for one tile or one, one board, which would be quite annoying. We've got three more, two more required. I know we should be all right. Okay, one more and that should do us. Right, so we've done the outside. Let's just check. Da, 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 da. That all looks okay. There's dirt that I thought I'd cleaned off. Okay, it's done. Now I've noticed we need to clean the windows. Now I'll show you what I've done. So, this is going to be the living room slash kitchen. That's obviously going to be the bathroom. And this is the bedroom. Because this, where are they? These two people, the Jantart family, they want a bathroom. So there has to be a bathroom. They want a kitchen. So there has to be a kitchen. They like pictures. Pictures, that's fine. Uh, put some carpet on the floor. Rugs, that's what they want. Uh, they want wooden elements. Two rooms are okay, they prefer three. They want a nice living room. Uh, enough space to put all of their books in, so we need bookshelves. Three rooms are perfect, so let's just have a quick look at something here. It's great that there's a bathroom. That's one room. There's a kitchen, so cooking for grandchildren will be possible. That's two rooms. There's a lovely living room in this house, so that's three rooms. But they obviously want a bathroom as well. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't need to go to the toilet. No plants, books, clean, no kitchen. Yeah, so! 
kitchen, living room, bedroom, and obviously a bathroom. Which means they want three rooms, but they need a minimum of four. So obviously we have to combine the living room and kitchen into that massive space. Should be plenty of space to get that job done. But let's do the bathroom first. I'll tell you what, actually, what we'll do first. Let's get the front door on the house. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's get the front door on the house. And get started on decorating. Front door, I'm going to go with the... I'll tell you what, we're going to go with the dark front door. I'm going to go outside to do it because... I want to make sure it's lined up properly. There we go, one front door in the house. Looks like crap, never mind. So, as always, we start with the bathroom. So I'm going to put a door on the bathroom. And I'm going to do lighter colour. I'm going to put light coloured indoor doors, if that makes sense. <laughs> Bathroom door. Good start. <laughs> okay, let's then get started with the floor. So, they like wooden elements. Now, I don't know if wooden flooring is... I don't think it matters what kind of panels you do, to be honest. Uh, we're not putting carpet in the bathroom though. Let's have some pine. I want to do something different with the bathroom, so let's have some t pine flooring. What you want is flooring that you can keep clean in the bathroom, and I think that that should be all right. Now, we can't put wood paneling on the walls, that would just look ridiculous. However, what we can do is put in all the no, we can't put in the fixtures, we need to tile the walls. So what will we do tile-wise? If we've got pine floor panels, then we probably want a light-coloured wall tile. Uh, that might work, actually. So let's have something to go around the edge. That might work with those. I think it will actually. Right, so I want to buy one pack of these first. Some advice I had before to make things more interesting and I think it actually really works, so... It's a good idea, as long as the tile difference isn't ridiculous. I think they don't look light yellow to me at all. We'll also do that in the window ledges and the area above the window, just in the bottoms. Not like the whole window area, just the surround. Yes, yeah, so I think I know the other tiles we want in here. Do them the way we want to do them. And that, yeah, every wall needs to be tiled. Okay, so now we can sell that small pile of tiles. And now buy these ones. I think we want. I'm going to buy four packs. At six twenty each, they're not extremely expensive. Now let's see. Will that be okay? No, look, it's not the same colour. It said it was light yellow. That's not yellow. Those are white tiles. Don't say they're yellow tiles when they're not. But you know what? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. We could do with some more patterned tiles that are 
bit more interested in some of the ones that are there. Right. Yeah, that looks okay. We we can we can live with that. It's going to be a very small bathroom, though. So it's not going to take a huge amount of time. I don't think we needed this many tiles, to be honest. <laughs> I think we've bought far too many tiles. But better to buy too many than not enough, right? And then hopefully the people buying this house don't try to create a swimming pool inside it. Because, you know, the, the, these people are not, not the most intelligent people around. But as long as they buy my houses, I don't mind. And as long as th that couple there don't turn around and say, Oh, the bathroom's too small. Then I think we'll be okay. I mean, the bathroom's too small, but, you know. I mean, my bathroom's small, but it's bigger than this. <laughs> so, space... Sh sp bleh. Let's try that again. Space-saving appliances would be good. But also, they want wood, so... I guess he doesn't get enough of that in his private life. So we want, uh, we probably want stuff with wood panelling on it and a rocking chair and all that kind of thing, all that good stuff. Be nice if you could put, just thinking for this kind of, these people. Right, so there's the tile in. Let's forget that the light yellow tiles look white, not light yellow at all, unless now people have started calling white light yellow that I wasn't aware of it. So shower first, it's this bathroom layout is very similar to the last one, to the last house, in terms of where everything goes. So for the shower, I'm going to try and see if I can get that one in. Here we can, okay, just something different from what we normally put in. Very easy. All done. Now that cuts off a lot of space in here already. What's that for? Washer. With the radiator there, is there really enough room for the washer? Like... Oh, there is. Okay. Well, that's fine. Stick one of them in here then as well. I mean, you could probably fix it in any room in the house if you wanted, couldn't you? I'm also thinking about a, a solution for that other person who wants to buy a house with two bathrooms. I'm wondering if it's possible to incorporate bathrooms into bedrooms. Given he wants to rent it out to tenants. Like, ensuite bathrooms for every bedroom. There's a lot of space required to do that. I think we might be better to wait until... Uh... Where's that waste hose? There we go. Right. Washing machine. Shower. We're going to need to put the toilet here. Um, and I'm going to need stuff that saves space, to be honest. So we're going to put that toilet. A bit of marble effect. Because it's about the only one that I think is going to make this room not look far too small. It already looks far too small to me, but but we are going to put in a wooden... there. Old-fashioned wooden sink uh, in birch. That'll work. That's the kind of thing they'll like. Oh, they're happy that there's a bathroom. Can you please let me do that? Why 
was that on? Like I didn't, as far as I'm aware, I didn't turn that on. Better make sure that's tightened. <laughs> Otherwise they'll get a leak. And you know, this house has already had its fair share of leaks, so we don't want to do another one. And I have to clean the floor because it's bloody got a spill on it now. Do you know what we haven't done? I haven't cleaned the windows. Let's get the window clean. We'll work around the windows as we move around as well. Uh, oh, I need a, a light on the ceiling before it turns to night time. Right, good. Uh, light. What light will we do? I, I hope the light switch isn't in the in the shower again. <laughs> uh, well, we'll find out in a minute. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Let's put some halogen lamps on there. And I think we'll put them kind of there. And there. Not in the shower, because that would just be not very clever. And if we put one just about there as well, that should be okay. The light switch is on the right side of the door this time. Good. Lights. Excellent. Right. Now I also need a toilet roll holder. Because you got to have one of them in the bathroom. I guess. Let's do that one. It'll fit in with their old-fashioned style. Are we going to burn that? No, I don't think so. What else? Oh, uh, yeah, a bathroom mirror. Bathroom mirror, always good. Helps when you're shaving, you know, at the very least. I think we'll go for the one that's got the light on it, that one there. So, where's the middle here? What are we talking about? That's probably the middle. And that is where we want it. Turn that on, we get a little light in the bathroom. They just wanted a bathroom, they weren't overly fussed about any extra stuff, were they? But I'm thinking that space there could be usable. If there's anything interesting for the bathroom there. No, um... Some sort of furnishings. I'm trying to think what it might be. Under cupboards? I still can't work out which uh, section. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. That might work. Bit of birch there again. Tell you what, let's put that next to there. Nice little bathroom cabinet. Apparently they don't like it. Okay, well... Well, they don't not like it. They just don't have any comment. Bit of birch again, because that's what we want. I'm thinking we probably want it to be about there. Actually, I want to buy three of those if I can. Why can't they be right next to each other? Does that not actually give any improvement to anything? I thought that would give some sort of improvement to something. And also then, let's search for the funny L-shaped shelf. Because uh, I guess... Let's take a hanging shelf down. Is that... I mean, pine's closer to it, but still not ideal. Bookcase. Apparently that's an artistic bookcase. I don't know what's artistic about it, but okay. Maybe another one? Yeah, one more, and that should be enough. For the bathroom, to be honest. There's a place for his documents in the bathroom, so that's good, right? Um, picture of some kind somewhere. It's not really an option of a, putting a picture up. Oh yes, there is. Oh yes, there is. 
challenge accepted very much. Hmm. Something in keeping with the colour theme. Sunflowers. Perfect. They say that picture is very interesting. I say they need to get out more. Plants. This is a little fern. I think a little fern in a white thing because they're boring. Can I put that on the windowsill? Oh, but I want to put blinds on the windowsill. So, where can we put this plant? It's going to annoy me. Oh, there we go. I mean, it looks like it's hanging off the edge, but they'll take care of this lovely plant, they say. I think we'll see if we can get another couple of them. Can I put one in that middle shelf? Ah, that's annoying. But maybe... They don't like lots of flowers, though, I've noticed. But we'll put one more. Like, if I put too many flowers in here, they'll... Suddenly that'll be a negative for them, Look, They've gone down because of the amount of flowers that I've put in. Right, I think the bathroom's fine. One bathroom complete. Next, we don't have a lot of rooms to go through, do we? Bedroom. So, door. Let's see, doors and windows. White door. Turn it round. There we go, nice. Well, obviously it's not nice because the room is an absolute disaster. But that's because we haven't done anything yet. Right, floor. So I reckon... Oh, do you know what we haven't done in the bathroom, actually? Why, wow, that's that door would annoy me. But, you know, it's not my house. <laughs> no. Floor. Rugs. Even though... I don't know. Well, yeah. Rug, hampen. There we go. Even a simple carpet can bring some warmth to the house, she says. Well, I agree, but I mean, do you really want a rug right where you pee? Well, let's stick one of them in there if it's not too big. No, it's, it's too big. <laughs> Never mind. We don't need more than one rug in there anyway. One rug's plenty. Because they like rugs and carpet. So I'm thinking they probably want... Well, actually, the, the, the flooring doesn't make any difference to them, it seems like. That says dark, but it doesn't look dark to me. Let's see. That looks okay. It's not, like, extremely dark. Gives us some idea of what kind of wooden furniture to put in here, considering they say they want wood furniture. Or at least that seems to be their their aim. Right, bedroom. So now we need to paint it. Boring colours. <laughs> I'm being a bit rude to these people, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, um... The beige... What do I want? I want something that's not, like, extremely horrible. If, the, if it's those people... Yeah, Forest Mist. Let's buy three of that, and we'll maybe put a different colour on... And which wall are we going to put the bed on? Probably that one. So let's choose a different colour for the bed area. But for now... Or we can do... No, we'll do some wallpaper on the bed area. That's what we'll do. Which... It's going to be that wall. Okay. So yeah, we'll put some wall panels on that wall. Yeah, that, that colour will probably be okay. 
that color will probably be okay. Uh, we're getting rid of all the uh, water damage as well. Which we needed to do. Good. Let's get the walls looking nice and clean. Unlike what they looked like when we bought the house. Which it certainly didn't look clean. <laughs> that looks pretty good. It's definitely getting there. Da, 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 da. More decorating. If only all decorating was as easy as this. <laughs> nice. Bit more paint on the bra on the old roller. Tell you what I didn't do in the bathroom was I didn't put blinds on the window, which I'm gonna need to do at some point, but right now. Nice if I could get the top of this window done in one go. Yes, good. Except what I didn't do was the other part inside the window. Don't want to have bits of paint showing through. At least most of this plaster and water damage is not going to be visible anymore. Let's make sure, I think I'm standing in a paint pot. Doesn't do anything. That looks good. You can see the lining, the line of the plastering there, where uh, obviously there was damage before, and there isn't now. We'll do the area underneath the windows quickly. Yeah, I definitely didn't need this much paint. Nice. Now the window surrounds. Okay. Looks pretty good. Oh, need more paint. That paint pot is almost empty. Sells filthy. We haven't cleaned the windows either. It doesn't say it's dirty though. You know, if you look around where it should show you that there's dirt in the uh, room, it doesn't show you that one being dirty. So that's annoying. But we'll give it a clean before we continue. Right, that's all the paint. Sell it all off. Right, I need to clean that window because that's going to be annoying. Imagine looking like that. I think it's perfectly clean. She says. They say finally there's order. Maybe we have to take a final look around the place once we're done, I think. The windows aren't covered in crap anymore. Yay! What even is that? That's like blue dust. It's Waller White on this house. Is that what it is? Jesse Pinkman's home. Nice. And one last window. Yeah, we do need to do blinds in the bathroom, which we'll do as soon as we've finished with this room, I think. Okay. Now we need to think about wallpapering that section. 
Don't want anything too ridiculous. Because it is for these this older couple. Something that just looks okay. You could do what wooden panelling, but I just think that would be a bit rubbish. Let's do that wallpaper. I don't need more than one pack, I'm sure. If I do, then okay, we'll get another pack, but So the first thing, which will let people know what kind of room this is, is obviously get the uh, get the bed in, and no one can be any in any doubt about what kind of uh, room this is. I don't know if the other thing that's. Uh, Slightly troublesome to me is having a radiator at the head of your bed is not ideal, is it? But it doesn't have any practical concern in the game. It's not going to stop people from buying the house. But I do need to buy another roll, another load of this paper. One more should do it. Pop it in the little slots, just there. And there. You wouldn't think this house had been flooded based on the... Uh... Wait, what's that doing? Why does that... Oh, yeah, I forget, you have to keep picking them up. Well, that's just stupid. <laughs> And do I even need to put this panel in on the top? Well, maybe I do just because it's a diff slightly different colour. But basically, <laughs> I can't actually see where I've put it. That's the problem. Well, you can. You can see a join, but... This was possibly the worst wallpaper to put up. And that, you know... Pretty sure I've just done that one twice now. Okay, well, that looks stupid. Well, it looks okay there. But then you look at that and you kind of go, well, why have you done that? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, we're done with... That's... That's annoying. I'm going to have to paint around the window frame instead just just inside the window frame with a bit of forest mist just to because otherwise it just looks ridiculous so we'll do the window surround and forest mist but the wallpaper on the outside of the surround i know that looks a bit stupid but it doesn't look as stupid as that if you ask me now i could probably just ignore that top part but i'm not going to I should have left that. No, that's okay. We'll leave it like that. I'm sure it'll be fine. They won't care. Bed. Oh, actually, no. Lights. Let's make, put something nice on the ceiling for the light. Just so that in case we're in the middle of doing something in the room while we're decorating and it comes out kind of... I think we'll get these ones. And do it in that wood. We're probably going to need two of these. Why is that not... There we go. I was going to say, why is that not allowed to go on the roof? It's a perfectly acceptable position. Right, that'll do for a bedroom. Just make sure that lights the whole room without too much of an issue. We'll keep the light on, because we're probably going to need it on anyway. Okay. Bed. So. What am I doing? <laughs> Right, double bed, in an older style, maybe that one. That one might be the best option, actually. Yeah, do it in the birch. No, do it in the older, because it's just slightly older couple. That'll do nicely, I'm sure. I'll try and put it in the middle if we can. 
one sec, I just need to take a very quick break. Okay, so as we can see, this is a very big bedroom. I noticed those people there said, the bedroom's not a place for toys. Well, there aren't any bloody toys in here, so what the hell are you talking about? And what if it's a child's bedroom? Surely that is the place for toys then. Okay, anyway, never mind. Uh, we want bedside cabinets, but they want to be probably an older style wooden type. If we can see any. Yeah, bedside tables, those would be perfect. In white, I think. So we need two of those. One there. And we need to line it up with the bed. That looks good. A couple of bedside cabinets. Uh, a rug of some kind, a big one if possible. Put that down because we know all about that already. We know they like rugs. What kind? What one would be good for the bedroom? That's going to go in the hall, I think. I think we might go for that one. Yeah. Surely, I need to see what I'm doing to get this lined up right. The old couple have appeared and immediately disappeared. <laughs> they just kind of popped up and I went, hey, we're still here. Like, well, that's good. Uh, do you like this or not? What else could we do with? We need bookshelves. Is that under cupboards? I'll tell you, first of all, let's look for a wardrobe. That one, that'll do nice. They'll like that one, won't they? That'll be their favourite kind of colour. Yeah, make it that. That looks cool. I mean, it doesn't, but, you know... One wardrobe. If I could get a low bookshelf as well. Bookcase. Bookcase. Which bookcase would be good? Maybe that one. Yeah, let's put that in there. The colour options aren't great. Let's do cherry because that's the detail on that uh, wardrobe. Bookshelf. He says he wants more than one shelf. I'm not making the room for you, mate, so you know. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. Furniture. Again. Is it under cupboards? dressing table. Is that the only one? But we want, as I say, we want sort of traditional style stuff. That seems to be what they want over anything else. Bedside table. Cabinet. An old-fashioned cupboard. 
they'd probably like that too, but I've got to think about what actually fits. Yeah, where's that dressing that dresser? It's hard, you know, making a trying to think how to design a room for people who don't really think the way you do is quite difficult. Dressing table. Little chair at the dressing table. We're not putting a desk here because we're not doing it for that guy. Uh, chair. And probably like a... I want to have a rocking chair in the house somewhere, but I don't think it really works as a chair for a dressing table. That one. Oh. Yeah, that'll do. Dark oak, why not? Can I get it to go under there a decent amount? Nice, uh, okay. What else? Pictures, they like pictures. They like pictures, so decorations. And you know what, we'll sell it to whoever the best gives us the best offer, but be nice if we could somehow make it so that it's them. That's a really low mounting for that, if you ask me. Yeah. What else could we have in here? Yeah, I did see that um, that old style cupboard. Cupboard. Where is it? Would be quite good for there. The bookcases are in this section. I don't know why I didn't know that. Again, I want it to be a darker wood, but the closest we're going to get is oh, that. Just looks ridiculous. Let's put it back to cedar, even though it doesn't really fit in. Oh, it's just a small cabinet. Okay. Well, maybe I can put that. I put that here. That's quite nice, right? I might put another rug there as well, actually, just to... Just to dress it up a little bit. Another classic style rug. Maybe we could go with this blue one. There you are, they're back up. Come back up. They like plants, but if I put too many plants, it seems like they don't like them. Maybe just like one in the room. If we can put one on top of there, that would be ideal. Ah, uh, no, see? They say it's so much better with plants in the house, but they, it's a negative for them for some reason. Some of the things these people say do not make sense. Da, 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 da. Let's put... Uh... No, not those. A couple of lamps by the bed. Those ones, I guess. Those would be alright. Yeah, chestnut, that works. Couple of them, bedside. That's what we want. Still need some more stuff in here. It's not just not quite got enough going for it, does it? Uh, lamps, decorations. Is there anything electronic we would want in here? I don't think there is, given who we're trying to sell it to. No. No. No electronics for them. Because they don't seem to show any particular interest in them is the only reason I say that. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see. What else could we have in here? I mean, you could put a desk in here. I guess, just to... It wouldn't hurt to put a desk in here, would it? Just to give a bit more... Yeah, you go, oh, they actually liked that. They liked having the desk. Okay, well, that's good. 
another picture on this wall, I think. Also, I need to take away... There's an extra light switch in there that we really don't need. Uh, what else can we have in here? Prague. Let's buy a photo of Prague. Oh, you know what? We could probably put a couple of photos here, actually. Did that do anything to them? It kept them up, but not enough to... Right, we don't need two light switches. If we put a couple of photographs like that, Vienna, stick a bit of Vienna on there. Is that right, well, good enough? They won't notice. And maybe a little. I feel like the bigger, the wider one should be in the middle. Or, alternatively, we take that one and we put it to the right of this one, right? <laughs> Looks a bit lopsided, really. But, you know, you know. Right, some shelving, and then it's pretty much the living room. I think it's got to be this one really, doesn't it? Yeah, that colour will be fine. Let's buy many so that we can... I actually think I want to put it that way. I should have done it the other way, but it doesn't matter because you can just... If I can put that next to that, I need to jump up on this bed or something so I can see exactly where it is. Actually... Okay, yeah. That's, uh, that's acceptable. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing, right? Uh, any other furniture that we could do with in here that would be that would go quite well with the other stuff that we've got? I don't think there is really. Let's just see anything at all. No, I don't think so. I think for this room we're done for now. Okay, well that's fine. I don't want it to be too ridiculous. and I think it looks okay. And I could fix it for someone else to buy this house quite easily by putting a TV on top of that desk. Now, that's quite annoying in that there are no lights. Well, that's quite dark. Actually, it looks okay. It looks acceptable. I think. Right, so we have a bedroom. Looks alright. They wanted it in an old school sort of style. Wood panelling and stuff like that all around, so I think that's okay. Um, how much space? So I'm thinking with regard to the kitchen, I think if we just keep wooden flooring throughout, I think that's probably going to be the easiest option, to be honest. Uh, so, floor panels, let's make it a dark mahogany is just a bit much. Well, maybe not. If we do it with lighter colours, it might be okay. So, over there. That's just because it's dark. <laughs> it's just because it's dark, don't worry. It'll look okay once the lights are on, once we've got a light in place. Wow, that's a bit... that is pretty ridiculous though, how dark it looks. Okay. 
let's just mark that up to there and then we can just go wee wee now that looks really it looks like I'm standing on top of a bottomless pit but it's just because there's no lights let's get some lights in because it's gonna be annoying if we don't if we can't see what we're doing right uh, a variety of lights might be required in here but let's just go with Okay, let's go with that, and we'll take the, oh yeah, that's a bit too bright, but that might be okay. I think we'll just use these all round, I think that's probably going to be the best option, isn't it? Why am I not able to put that? There we go. If I can put another one of these just... See, now the trouble is, if I put it in the wrong place, it's going to look ridiculous. There. And I'll also put one here. Yeah, there's too many of these lights for such a for such a room. They're not gonna be completely straight on. And I hope that's not gonna be a problem. But we do need a lot of lights for in here. I'm just worried this is gonna become like a football stadium with all this light. See, there we go. The floor doesn't look too bad at all. What were you talking about? Now, the problem is, I don't know which kitchen cabinets we're going to put in place yet. Which means it's difficult to know where I want to put the tiles. But, let's get the wall colours. I think we want something quite bright but not like overpowering and it's going to be paint because I think that might be alright we're going to need a couple of pots of it though at least for this area let's just we might have to experiment with a variety of paint colours just to ensure that it's not all one colour all the way around I think that's quite a fresh looking colour that should be quite nice to see as you walk in the door. So yeah, let's get this round the wall. And same on that side, we need to fill the paint roller, of course we do. I'm actually wondering whether that might just be the best colour to do the whole room. Because it looks quite nice. I think what we'll do is we'll lay out everything and then once we've got the kitchen in place, then we can mess around with tiles and things for the kitchen, but I actually think that looks like quite a nice colour for at least this part of the wall. I think, you know, it's not overpowering. It's quite, I mean, it's not neutral, but it's not like, oh my god. You know what I mean? Not quite done. I mean, I know roughly where the tiles are going to go, but I can't say for a hundred percent certain exactly where yet. Because it depends on the cabinets. I think these people kind of want older style wooden cabinets and things, so... Depends what we get in that style of cabinet, really. I have to say, those little... So you can see the... Uh... I'll show you in a sec. I've said this the last two times, I think, but... It's so distracting. It's these little lines here. I know that... Oh, you can't see it, actually. I saw it for a moment, but it's gone now. Okay, okay, I'll accept that. Oh, let's put the back door on. Quickly. So, dark front door. The thing is, we're going to do a ba dark back door as well. I think we want it lined up about there. Where? What is going on with this door?
that looks okay. And we need to do some sort of painting around that edge, but actually that's not that's not a major concern. Right, let's get this painting done. I think we'll just paint the whole room this colour. Just so we can get round it quickly. You can kind of see that line there that, that's annoying, just where the two sections join. It's pretty rare that I see it, but it can be annoying. <laughs> I feel like I should be taking new pictures of these houses before I put them up for sale. I mean, I assume you can do that, right? You can set the house up with new pictures to make it look much better. Maybe I need to start looking into that. I don't know if that'll increase the amount of money we make out of it, will it? That's what I'm interested to find out. Updated pictures. Do we have to take them, or does the game just take them as red? I suppose, I mean, the people are... I'd just be interested to know if that made any difference to the sale price. I guess there's no real way to find out, is there? Really? I mean... I'll take some pictures of the rooms when I'm done and see if that does make any difference. Very good. At least, you know, this house... We're covering up all the... the uh, the water damage. I think that paint pot might be empty now. I think we're doing okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that pot's done. Still need to do around this window and probably and the other one in a moment as well. But I'm just going to do the easy walls first. Immediately, I'm surprised that older couple isn't more interested, based on the fact that there's only three rooms. Almost there. I never mean, thought they'd been interested in that. If they're not, I'm sure someone will buy it, but I just don't know if it's going to sell to the right person. What we'll do towards the end is we'll look and see how their interest is, and if it isn't, I'm pretty sure. Oh, stop that. I'm pretty sure there's someone we can fix to buy this quite easily by putting a TV in the bedroom. Oh, we need to fix that. Actually, no one's going to notice that, are they? Right. You know, it's different when it's a real house. <laughs> you have to do everything you can to make it look perfect. Just that window frame to do, and then we can sell all this paint that we wasted our money on. I think this might be quite an expensive uh, repair, to be honest. We're done with the painting. So, get rid of all the paint. Right. Much nicer. Now, kitchen cabinets are what we need to work out first. It's the kind of thing that then sets up the rest of the room, really. So we want something in a more traditional style. Something like that would be ideal. Except... Hmm. See, that would be alright if there was another unit that I thought would work with it. Let's have a look at this one and see where, if we, there is anywhere we can put it. Hmm. That 
looks okay. That's where it can go though, because we can't put it there because there's windows. So it can't go there, it can't go there. See, this would be a good... You could put it there, but it would just be in the way of the windows. Would they care? I suppose that's the question I have to ask, is would they really be that bothered? Might not be concerned about that. If it turns out that it won't even fit in the corner though, there's no point even thinking about it, right? I want all the windows to be covered up. That's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Okay, uh, what was that other one that I saw that looked okay? This one. Because it's just a corner on the ground. Uh, tabletop should be grey marble. And grey handles to match the marble. And the sink can be grey as well. Grey as well. <laughs> right, that should work, surely. I cannot believe this. Why is that not fitting? <laughs> Okay, well the radiator's up against it, but at least it's not too bad. I might put this here. Oof, that's a bit much, isn't it? Well, let's put it let's see if we can put it in over there. That would be good, right? If that can go in that space there. There we go, so we've got an oven to cook with. Now we know where we want to tile round. But let's also put in some other items. Is there anything else in the kitchen stuff that we want before I go uh, stick one of them on the next to the sink, I suppose? I'll only go on that side. What else can we do from the kitchen stuff? I feel like we want another cabinet to go next to that. That one. The trouble is... You don't want it to be something too ridiculous, do you? So we can get a hanging cupboard on there. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if I can put it in the corner. Can we get another one of them there? Because that would that would actually be quite nice if we could. A couple of kitchen cabinets. They don't fit in with anything else in the kitchen whatsoever. But none of the kitchen really does fit in with any of the kitchen whatsoever. Uh, fridge. And we'll stick one of these in here just because... Yeah, if we make it a light colour, it'll go with what it's next to. Stick that in. Stick that next to this. One refrigerator. Microwave, I think. If we can get one. Uh, do, 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 do. Home electronics. Stick a microwave on the shelf, just here, as you do. Right, so tiles across that back window wall now. 
Uh, if we can find something that comes close in colour, that would be nice. But there probably isn't anything. Orange is just a, maybe a bit much. Uh, yeah, those. Those will work. I think we probably need two packs. Let's try that. Two packs. And that couple are still there, looking interested. Just depends how much they want to buy it for, you know? As long as they don't offer to pay me £5 for it, we'll be fine. Alright mate, uh, don't really like it, they'll give you five quid. No. Cost me far more than that. Do we need them to be up here? Yeah, probably. Not inside the windowsill, though. I think that we're fine without them inside the windowsill. Looks pretty good. We want to do round this side as well, where the cabinets are. This is nothing like the colour in the room, but I'm hoping it offsets it enough to be okay. I think we're going to need more tiles. To be honest, I think we're going to need a lot more tiles. Or you're going to need a bigger boat. So yeah, all we want to do is bring it to basically, I think, I don't want to do the whole window with it, so I think we'll just take it to where the window is. And that should be enough space to, to tile out on the bathroom here, the bathroom the kitchen. We could also tile. I'm going to do above the door just because I can, because I've got enough to do it. There you go, I think that's okay. That looks alright, right? I think. What we'll also do, no, don't paint the floor, is just put some tiles on the floor to kind of tile out the area that we're looking at. Uh, for the, the, yeah, they'll do. I think what we want is to make it kind of this area to here, and this area. So probably to about there, right? That'd be alright. We've got some clear lines of demarcation for where the kitchen is. Even though it's all part of the same room. So it's uh, tell it's uh, lounge time then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sofas. There we go. That's quite... A, that's it's not a particularly nice one, but I think it meets the requirements for what they want. So far. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to buy a couple of these armchairs even though I think they look horrible. That just looks a bit stupid, to be honest. I think one chair would be okay. Two's just not not right, really. Let's put one here by the wall. Hmm. 
Ah, I know what we'll do. Uh, tables, tables, tables. If we can get like a dining table, which I think they would like, right? That one. Yeah, that'd be all right. Where's that gonna go? If we can get that in this space here, it's gonna look rubbish. We'll sell that, because nobody wants that. We want some dining chairs, don't we? Well, we don't really need a lot of them. Let's take these. Yeah, and grey. Let's just see if we can get them down near the... How many can we get around here, do you think? We talked about wanting a family... Wanting to have family round, right? So let's give them a nice dining table. Not that it puts them up or down at all. But yeah, there's space for one there, so why not? I'm going to put a TV on a stand over there. I know it seems a bit silly. It seems very silly, to be honest. Uh, cupboards. Oh, actually... There doesn't seem to be any difference between those at all. No. So, wait. It's a corner TV stand. Which... Oh, now if you could put it there, sticking out into the room. It would be ideal. <laughs> but you can't. Oh, well, I could put it there. I think that's alright. Stick a small television on there. That looks ridiculous, I'm sorry, but it does. So we'll stick a normal TV on there, not a... Not a wall-mounted one. To some people a wall-mounted TV would be a normal TV. I apologise if, uh, if that's the case. Yeah, you can never have too many TVs and speakers. Well, in your case, there's going to be one. So, there you go. That just looks stupid. But never mind. Right, bookcase. Uh, cupboards. Bookshelf. I saw one that... I thought would probably this one. There we go. I'm going to stick it on by many, just because I'm interested to see... How many of these we can get in here in such a way that they'd be useful? Bookcase. And if I can get another one there, that would be good. Needs to go over very slightly. Like that. It's better. It's not fantastic, but it's better. Some kind of. Uh, oh, that's something we need. We need something with a like coat hook. And there is a mirror that you can get with it that I quite like. So we're going to get that. Because I think that looks pretty good. So put that about there. Also, we need 
shoe cabin. No, there's a shoe. There's another shoe cupboard. Isn't there? I'm sure there was another shoe thing I saw. Somewhere. Maybe I'm ro maybe I'm imagining it. No, shoe cabinet. Perfect. Stick that. Right there, right? Shoe cabinet, coat hooks. That works quite nicely. Mm, are there any smaller coffee table? Coffee table. Stick that just here. She says, what a lovely living room. No living room! What if someone wants to visit me? I mean, that is a living room, you moron. It also has a kitchen, but, you know. He doesn't have any vision, that's his problem. No vision, man. What's that look like? Can that go... Could that go there? Oh, could. I mean, I don't know what you would want it there for, but... It looks purple, that table. I suppose it kind of is. I don't think there's an awful lot more we need to do with this. To be honest. I think we've probably got just about everything we need. We don't want to over-clutter the place. And we've reached the customer that we want. So... I reckon we're done. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Some more decorations. Some sort of pictures. I just want a couple of pictures. Let's pop that on the wall somewhere. Here. Just cement their interest over anyone else's, because we're not interested in. Like that guy. Oh, I'll buy the owl picture. Put it there, that would be nice. Yes, they did like that, so that's good. The thing with plants is, it seems like they're interested in plants, but then you put plants up and it drags their score down. So I'm not going to put any plants in anymore until I know that they've bought. Is there room to put? Yeah, there is. One more. And then I reckon we are done. How high up is that? About there. It's about there. It's probably not right. Yeah, that one's higher now. Uh, but that's okay. It's just a slightly a slightly offset appearance, you know, that's what we that's what we planned for. I think we're good. Now I just want to check something. What's the situation with the camera? Let's just do that, just just to just to kind of that table is just a bit rubbish, isn't it? You can probably tell I'm not on a stage and. All those jagged edges, that's what we want. We want the two aspects, right? The two views. Do it with a bit of light on. I don't actually know that this is going to make any difference to anything, to be honest. probably turn the TV off, that doesn't make a good picture. I think we're done. I don't know what else I can do really to 
interest them. They are already the most interested party. And it's a nice house. If I do say so myself. That's back to front. <laughs> That's back to front. I think we did a good job. And I think it's ready for someone to move in. It took me two hours to work on this house. That's because I did a bit of work offside. He wants to rent the house. Needs two bathrooms. Well, tough. The way this is going, it looks like pricing might be quite nice. Okay, 78. 80. So we get 36,000, which is about what we made extra. Yeah, the only negative opinion is that the whole house is clean. That's a negative opinion. The whole house is clean. Very nice. The rest, three rooms are perfect, there's a lovely living room, it's great, there's a bathroom, there's a kitchen, so cooking for grandchildren will be possible, and it's so much prettier with pictures inside. We're going to sell to them, I probably could have stuck an extra rug in there, but they're happy, so I'm happy. So yeah, we got them the house they wanted, I think. What's the next house on the market? Or just out of interest. Yeah, I don't know why I just did that as well. I didn't bother to change the pictures. Uh, we got 80,000 for it. Considering we bought it for 38, I think we did pretty well. So this is the Many Generations house. Is this the one I want to buy next? Yes, this is the Many Generations house. I'm going to buy it for 40,000. I'm going to go there right away. We're making plenty of money out of doing this, so it's all good. Although it might start getting a bit difficult when we get to the next lot. Right, let's have a look around the outside of this house first. In fact, let's clean around the outside of this house first. <laughs> Seeing as we're walking around anywhere, that's high. Let's get some uh, ladders. Is there anything on the outside, actually? You can get cobwebs. Is there any more dirt on the bottom of the wall? No. Oh, I've got a new skill point for cleaning. You can see most dirt on the minimap. Yeah, look, there's some nasty, dirty bits around there. Just want to double check if there's any more at the front. Looks like, oh. I oh, need to get rid of all this stuff, I know, and I'll do that in a minute. In fact, there we go. That's that gone. That should show me some more dirt because. You wouldn't see it otherwise. And up there. And there. And I can somehow clean all the cobwebs outside from there. What's that? A tree? Okay. Why was there a, gar a trash bag sitting all the way out there? It's not a nice thing to call someone. I think we've got everything from the outside. Now what kind of layout is this house going to have? Is it going to be similar to the ones we've been to already? That is clean, it looked dirty. Oh, we've got more trash that I didn't see before. Looks like we're good, right? Let's... Uh, Let's sell everything. Because then that gives us more money to work with later. They're going to be complaining that there's no bathroom. And that's because they can't just wait a minute until I've done it. Need to get rid of all the rubbish. 
There we go. Any more? Yep, just there. Sell that as well. Get rid of that. We'll do the cleaning afterwards once we have... Right, there's a few places where I need to plaster. Oh, mirror. That's broken. I was already bad luck buying this house. I don't need seven more years. Right, we'll sell this this door off just now, although we will probably put pretty much the same door back on. But the trouble is, most of the stuff looks absolutely trashed. So there's no point keeping anything. It's all garbage. It all belonged to some random person who decided that the best thing to do was leave the house trashed. So I don't want any of it. And if they needed any of their old furniture, well, that's a shame. They should have taken it with them. I, it looks like you could make some... Um, I use the word interesting designs with that, with those shelves, but I'm sure you might have an idea what I mean. Is that dirty clothes? That was dirty clothes everywhere. Okay, so this had two bedrooms. Walls. More of these horrible... I mean, the shelves themselves aren't normally horrible, but in this house they are horrendous. Sell all the dirty, wall, the dirty light fixtures as well. Nobody wants a dirty light fixture. Unless you're using it as a euphemism for something else. <laughs> Which I don't think you are, so never mind. Right, let's get rid of all this junk. Honestly, imagine leaving all this junk. You sell your house and you just leave it full to the brim with trash. Yes, there is still some trash to remove, said that person over there. I didn't notice. I was going for a shabby chic. Did that not... Was that not obvious? Right, cleaning time. <laughs> cleaning time. Can we just burn the whole house down and start again? just have the plot of land. That would be nice. But while we're in here, let's clean the window, because we're here. And we may as well do it. And that one. I saw you. I'm surprised people haven't written something on the window in the dirt. It's so dirty. Right, well that's that room. Cleaned. Need to get everything that's on the floor here just to... Good. Why hasn't this mess been cleaned up? They all say the same stuff. Why hasn't this mess been cleaned up? Because I just got here? Because the last owner was a slob? I don't know. What would you like me to tell you? You know, it's just... <laughs> I think it's because it's a sentient uh, house that wants to be covered in grime. Didn't you know that? I thought everybody knew that about houses. Okay, what are we doing? We're building, we're doing this. So who are we going to make this house for? That's the next question, once we've cleaned up. Cobwebs still. Still some cobwebs. I wonder who we've not made a house for yet. That would be the question, wouldn't it? Is that all the clean? That's all clean? Finally there's order, they say. Yeah, there is. 
Right, we need plaster, so let's get the plastering done. Because we can't do much of anything until we've done the maintenance tasks. So let's get it done. Any more plaster on that wall? No. On this wall? I mean, it's tiled all round, but that doesn't mean it doesn't need plastered somewhere, right? There we go. Repair those walls. They look horrible. Oh, did you not want them like this? Some people like exposed brickwork. There's a few holes to fill in. Yeah, I know I'm doing it. These people, oh look, you've got holes to fill in, you missed a spot. I didn't miss it, I've just not done it yet, what the hell? Everyone gets very excited about plastering walls, I've noticed. There's still one hole left. I was just going to leave it. Is that alright? Can I just leave that hole? Obviously not, because there it is. Because if I leave it, then it'll be a negative against me selling the house. That's all the plastering done, right? It's good though, they give me the advice, you know. Oh, you still haven't finished plastering this room. Right. So. Who are we going to make this for? Who have we... And, and, and we need to think about the size of the actual property as well. So they are probably right out, to be honest. Married couple in their thirties with three children and a grandma. So as I say, at least four bedrooms required for them. Well, at least three bedrooms required for them and there's definitely not space for three bedrooms here. I haven't sold him a house. But, you know, we could sell it to him. He just wants books, a desk next to where he sleeps, a place to study near where he sleeps, and he wants only one bedroom in his house. So do you know what? I think we'll make that the bedroom. I did that before with somebody. I think we make one big bedroom for him, which is that. We'll have... What's the bathroom? Hmm. If I make that the bedroom, what am I going to do? I'll make a small kitchen in here. Not a big one, just a really basic kitchen. And this is the bathroom. And that. Well, no, 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 wait a minute. Oh, but we could have a little lounge area as well for him. Bedroom, lounge area, bathroom, small kitchen. In fact, let's make a small kitchen. Sorry, the bathroom, small kitchen, bedroom. Well, now I'm wondering. I think I'm going to knock that wall down. Or am I? So what I could do, I could make a double width door here too. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. Um, but I could maybe make this like a quiet room to sit in. Enjoy the day as it goes by. Right, let's get the front door dealt with. I might not bother doing the outside of the house this time because it takes so bloody long. <laughs> uh, but, start where, as we mean to go on. Doors first. Doesn't really matter what colour door I put on, does it? Not really. It's not a big, it's not going to make a big difference to anything. Wait, that's not right. Uh, Good start. Perfect. Well done. Right, so what did I say? Bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, and... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere somewhere to keep his books. A little library slash... Well, see now... No, he wants the desk to be in the bedroom. So, we'll allow that. Right, okay, so first things first. Yes, we're going to try and do this for the student... I'm just concerned about how much money he actually has to do this, but... 
I guess it should still require us to reach some kind of profit, right? That's fine. Just going to be a basic, uh, I mean, we make it like basic student accommodation, I suppose. In which case, I'm just going with like a basic cheapo student house. Yeah, you know, uh, the kind of that someone was loaning out rent now in the 70s. Actually, to be fair, these tiles don't look as bad as I thought they would. Say rent out in the 70s, uh, even later than that, perhaps, the 90s. Depending where you are. Actually, yeah, th these tiles are... Not as bad as I thought they were going to be. They're acceptable. I guess. <laughs> I'm not being honest. <laughs> I wouldn't have them. Do these tiles, is it just me or do these tiles look dirty going on the wall? <laughs> but we just want it to be a very basic student household. I don't know who's buying him the house, his dad maybe. Maybe he's buying the house somehow. Maybe we need to be very careful about that guy. Maybe he already has lots of money. He's gone back to university for a second degree. Who knows? He needs a computer. Right, well, anyway. Let's just get on with... Sorting his house out. I hate when it says that. You know, oh, a package of tiles would be useful. A drill might be more useful. And someone says that. Whatever am I suggesting? I would drown out what they're saying, you know. Obviously, I mean, it, it's not not something crazy. Okay, that looks alright. I shouldn't use that word, really, should I? I mean, it's, it has got some fairly negative connotations these days. If it ever had any positive ones, I don't suppose it did. Better, but still a bit, I don't know, see this has got enough, I think these tiles have got enough of a pattern on them that I can just put them all the way around the corner of the room, because they're, they're different. I think this bathroom might be bigger than the one we had in the last house, a little bit at least. So it's interesting, obviously, if you want to kind of build it with a particular person in mind. As I say, the, the student with his desk and table is probably going to be what we want to keep in mind. Which means plenty of bookshelves. We're going to need to buy at least 
one more pack of tiles. At least one more. Yeah. Well, when I say at least, what I mean is only one more. Uh, one pack should do the job. And then we will be done with his bathroom. Well, with decorating his bathroom. We need to then put in, obviously, the... Appliances. You know, in the game, obviously, you have the option of uh, air conditioning and things like that, but I've not noticed anyone actually wanting it so far. Like, none of these people that we're selling to ever mention, oh, is there no air conditioning? Right, good. Uh, I'm going to put the door on so that I can just double check that everything sits okay. Uh, door. Interior door, that one, please. Good. Looks good to me. Right, so now, radiator. Ouch. Installations. One radiator. Right there on the wall. I didn't look at any of these, uh, any of the wiring to see if any of those sockets needed fixed anywhere in the house. So I do need though, I need a light in here again. Got to have lights, I mean it's almost the first thing you should put in when you're in these, when you're in these places. Just put that up. I'm hoping that's good enough. There is a light switch. Let's just check how it how the light looks. Seems to light the whole room, I'm not complaining. Actually, why don't we keep it on? Just in case it gets dark before we're finished. Right. Shower. You probably don't want to spend a huge amount. What's the cheapest shower? It's that, it is that one. Let's, you know, I don't think he's going to be too concerned about having, wait, that won't fit there. Must be a corner shower then, looks like, unless, try the corner shower. No, that won't go there either. Can we actually fit any showers here? <laughs> Might have to go with the most expensive one in that case. Yep. It's the only one that'll fit in the space. Well, I mean, the other square one might have, but... There we go. One shower. And they've cut away a bit of the windowsill to fit it in. Well, they haven't cut it away at all. Okay, we're good at sink and toilet. Toilet, toilet, let's do something like compact toilet, that one. And that was very easy to put together. And the sink can be... I don't want to do anything ridiculous. But we'll do that. If I can do that, then... Let's put that in. I can put it there. Okay, then I will. I most definitely will.
We're going to have a big wet patch on our floor because it won't let me do it in the right order. There's no way of knowing if the water's on or not either. In fact, we've got a wet patch on the floor. Let's give it a clean. Right, so... The bathroom's okay. Now, mirror above the sink. Decorations, mirrors, mirror over the sink. Again, I think that that later one's probably going to be the best option. And you can put it sideways. Why is it? Whatever. It's not even in the right place. Like it needs to go over one. Why is it black instead of like a mirror as it should be? I really don't know. Let's not worry about it. Uh, do, 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 do. I think we can put... He's going to want lots of shelves for books, so we can start by putting some shelves in here. He doesn't care about... doesn't seem to care about uh, pictures or anything like that, just storage for books. Hey, we can store books wherever we want, you know? Actually, I need to buy many of those. So now there should be enough space for my books. What are you doing? That's not what I wanted you to do, is it? Right, that's going to be more than enough shelf space in a bathroom. I'll get one more setup of shelving there. And that's, that's more than enough shelves in the bathroom, let's be honest. Uh, is there anything else bathroom wise that might be interesting? Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Some sort of toilet roll holder is required. Just there. Let's say he doesn't care about pictures. He's not interested in pictures. So I'm not going to bother putting any on the wall. Try not to put anything up that distracts too much from... To be honest, I think that room's done. He doesn't want anything. Let's have another quick look. So it's Chang Choi. Uh, one bedroom, place to sleep, place to study, books, books. That's all he wants. Books and one bedroom. And he'd probably like a quite large bedroom. So there's no point putting lots of extra decorative items in here because he's not interested in them. You see? And if he's not interested in them, then... They're just going to distract from him buying it. So you can go a bit more basic with him, I think. Because that seems to be what he wants anyway. That's going to be the kitchen. Uh, right. Let's do this entryway first. And we're going to have the sliding doors, but I think we'll have them in white. Or maybe... No, we will. We'll have them in white. little bedroom area. Right, so floor for the entrance. We're not going to go too crazy with that. I think we'll just go with basic floor panels in... No, let's do palisander. Because I'm going to do the walls just in basic white in this room. White paint. I don't think I'll need very many pots of that for this somehow. Let's make sure we're switching to paint so that we've got paint as the main thing. Just 
just buy one. I don't need to buy an, a million of them. One is enough. Looks good. Just white, no messing around. The good thing with the uh, house for this guy is you don't have to go... You don't have to go super... Um, stylish or anything like that either. Because he doesn't seem to be overly concerned about that kind of thing. go, nice and easy. Ow, just one sec. Resting a bit oddly on my ear. So I decided I was going to make this a kitchen for some reason. I don't know why, but you know. Because it's as good a place as any, I guess. Let's do... do, 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 do. Okay, let's do light green floor tiles. That works. That's going to work quite well. I mean, if you want the room to look horrible, that is. <laughs> oh, clean the windows. So yeah, I don't think we'll have to go too major with his with the stuff that he wants. The rooms can be really quite basic, I think. Okay, now paint. Uh, no tile. Well, wall tiles for. Let's take those tiles. I'm going to take two packs because I'm going to try and put them. I think I'll put them on this wall. Because that's probably going to be the best wall to put any counters on. Oh, there's a bloody radiator right there. I'm going to take that radiator off. Move it to the other side of the room. Install one on the other side of the room. I think that'll be okay. I don't know why I didn't do that in the last house. You know, if I'd moved around for the kitchen in that last house, if I'd moved around the radiators, we'd probably have got a pretty good position for for the counters. Anyway, it's done now, so there's not really anything we can do to change that, is there? One thing I wish there was an option of would be like with painting, when you're upgrading your levels, you can upgrade it so that it'll not waste paint on slots that obviously have been painted already. It'd be nice if it could uh, also include not laying tiles over tiles. Of the same design. Mind you, I suppose the thing with that is if the tiles are a bit rough looking when you first come into the building, it's good to be able to replace the same tiles, but then the easy solution to that would be that dirty tiles obviously can be replaced. At least we've not got a guy that we're trying to sell the house to that comes in and just says, I want trash everywhere. It's like, I wonder how much you'd sell some of these buildings, these houses for, 
without doing any work on them. Right, so just this wall with tiles. Doesn't really go with the green, but I'm not overly concerned. Now if we can do like a somewhere in between, a lighter green on the walls, then it'll kind of balance out quite nicely. That was alright, but that was in the last house we did. Whether that means anything, we could use it again. Spring grass. I think this might be a bit bright, but we'll soon find out. No, that'll be alright. That'll be okay. I think. I mean, it is very bright. It's like probably the worst colour to offset the other colours in the room. But, you know, it's okay. I know the black and white's bad. Against green, don't tell me. Well, look, I mean, the people that you're selling to, they're not, they're not concerned about what colour the walls are. It could be luminous or orange with a reflective strip along the side middle of them, and he'd probably not care. High-vis bedroom, you know? That's what you want. <laughs> Obviously not, but... Haven't you always wanted one of them? I know I haven't. <laughs> three and three and oh three. Awesome. We'll get in there. Uh, next stream we will probably play something different, just uh, there's a couple of shorter games, shorter games, some, a couple of slightly different games that I want to have a look at, uh, but also I do want to start something a bit longer too, so I'm contemplating jumping into the first Assassin's Creed, and then the second and the third, etc, etc, just to, I'll tell you something I need to do, I need a light for here, white's okay, a light. It doesn't need to be anything particularly interesting for the for the entrance. I think we'll go with just that one. We'll make it a no. Make it a black and white striped one. That should work. Because that's just for this area, so it's good. Right, this radiator, we're going to move it to that wall. So we'll do this first as well. Uh, radiator, 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 radiator plumbing. I want it to be... Yeah, there would be okay, I think. I hope. It doesn't need to be a big radiator. Yeah, again, just a small one. Okay, one radiator. Kitchen cabinet. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Also doesn't need to be something rubbish, so... Oh, well, actually, I wonder if we could... Oh, that, that would, that would uh, balance things out a bit better. I wonder if this will fit in that space. If it will, we're definitely putting it in. But it won't. <laughs> it's far too big. I mean, I think he wants one. You really want a bit with a sink. Would that go in this room? I wonder. Just out of interest, would that go in this room? Hmm. 
No, I don't think it would. I can't see because it's... Oh, it will go. There we go. To be honest, as far as kitchen stuff goes, that's probably all we need. That's way too much for him though, isn't it? But it's in now and I'm not going to mess around with it. Stick a fridge of some kind in there. That one will do. This has got a metal back. I know people are concerned about that. There we go. Fridge. We've got a cooker. We've got that. Got an area there that's no use. Okay, well, let's. Um, yeah, let's make it that. I think that's okay. Actually, no. Go to other. We want the. So much for the host. We want the wall thing for hanging kitchen utensils. Not that it really matters because I don't think he necessarily wanted this. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. There it is. What's that? No, we'll do that. Do that one. Can't fit it there, but we can fit it on this wall, surely. No, we can't. But we can fit it there. And he's all he's he's visible on there, so that's a good start. Uh, I'm going to put some kind of bookshelf in here just because I know that that way he'll get more interested. So if we stick another bookshelf of some kind in here, like that one, if that will go there. He says, not all my documents will fit there. It's not you I'm trying to sell it to, mate. So, settle yourself down. Uh, we can get some wall cabinets in the kitchen as well. What kind of wall cabinets do we want? Oh yeah, that, that'll do. Let's make them that colour with black... <laughs> that colour with black handles. Let's see, where's that going to go? Wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. Well, I'll tell you what though. That's really all we need in here. He never said he was desperate to have like an amazing kitchen, so... Well, I feel like I want to put a smaller cabinet on the opposite wall. Maybe one of them. Will that fit on the opposite wall? No, that's another massive one. So no is the answer to that. Uh, do, 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 I think that's good enough. We need a, a light on the ceiling. Let's put a windmill and let's make it that colour. At least it kind of goes a bit with the other stuff. I mean there are things we could still put in here. There's room to put something, you know what, we are going to put something in that corner just because just because we can. Not like a typical kitchen cabinet, but some kind of cabinet. In fact. Oh, can I get one of them in there? Yes, I can. That will help. That should drive up his interest now. Maybe we've got too many bookshelves now for that guy. He's thinking, I don't have this many books, what are you doing? 
right so this is like a more of a wardrobe so for door what uh yeah no oh, i know what i'll do i do a not a wardrobe door but maybe that Yeah, let's do that. I know that's more of like a back door type thing, but oh, I didn't sell that back door. Better get rid of that then, while we're here. Okay, so, as I say, bedroom, we're going to try and do this, this room as quickly as we can, with one person in mind, if we can get him on side. We did a bedroom in this sort of room before, and it kind of worked. floor I think we'll do do you know what we'll put some carpet on this one just to be something different let's give him a green carpet I'll do it right we need some lights in here we need some lights in here just to get them done uh, what was I going to put on the roof Get a couple of these on the go again. Well, let's put one there. Is that a cobweb hanging from the ceiling? And one there. I need to get my cleaning stuff out because there we go. That lights up the room. Oh, I've missed that whole section there with my carpet. Why many? There we go. Now he's got a football pitch in his house. Right, so paint the walls. We don't want to be anything too ridiculous. Something interesting, but not. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, royal blue. And we're going to need a lot of paint to do this room, I think. We most certainly are. Let's go! Let's do this. I don't think the colours, as I say, I've said this a few times, but I don't think the colours on the wall actually matter to these people. In the early missions where you had to do specific things for people, uh, obviously colours did matter because they were asking you to do a specific colour somewhere or a specific thing with it, you know just uh, paint that You got wood chip on the walls though. Why? 
someone decided someone decided that's a nice uh, thing to put on walls again. And who made that decision? Did they tell anyone else? There's some areas around the windows that we still need to do, actually. Let's get the windows done instead of being silly. Especially as I only did one side of that window. Right, there we go. Painted. Alright, a bit more paint on the brush. Now all he needs is a bed, well, at least that seems to be what he says. All he needs is a bed and a desk next to his bed, or in the same room as his bed, and suddenly he will love this place. I could put some more bookshelves in here too, and hopefully that will start to interest him. The problem is I'm, I'm concerned that if I go too basic, we end up getting not very much out of it. I would assume we won't get a great profit if I don't put millions of little things in the house. But then, you know, with, with, in reality, you want to have as little in the house as possible. I think that's good. And we'll do something with that room as well afterwards. And do like a little living room type area. Right, bedroom. So get straight to the furniture, we want a bed, uh, he doesn't want a double bed I don't think, so... What bed can we give him? We don't want a children's bed. So how big a bed is that exactly? That's not an adult's bed, is it? Is that an adult's bed? Let's soon find out. Bang, single bed's enough for a student like me. I'd like to have a desk near the bed. Desk's going over there, Sunny, Sunny Jim. <laughs> sunny Jim. Uh, desks, okay, desk, desk, desk. Which one do you think would be nice for him? That one. Yeah, so let's put the desk in the corner. I'd prefer if the desk was facing the wall with him there, but actually... Sleeping and studying are very important, he says. Very important. Little swivel chair for him. Right there where he needs it most. Now we can get a couple more bookcases in here because he doesn't want a lot. But he does like having his books and his... So, you know. Bookshelves it is. I'm going to put of these out in I think. Let's see if I can get two of these in the room. Does it have to be a specific way round? No, because it's a... Can I put it right up to there? That would be acceptable. If I can get one right next to it, that would be fantastic. 
can. Wow, that's great. And the trouble is that the guy, the young guy, is still not looking like it's just such, so bare. I don't like it looking so bare. Um. I mean, you could put, well, I suppose I could put a... I suppose you could put a sofa in here, you know? It's got a sofa. I don't know what else I'm putting in it, to be honest, but it's got a sofa. that last room into. Oh, those all oh, those people have just moved up to the top of it. Sell that. Right, he's still the trouble is the guy that wants to, that that constantly wants his own room with an office and all the rest of it. It's gonna want Let's get this last room done, and then we can think about what else we need to do. I think I've missed a bit around the windows over there, by the way. Yeah, I have. Stupid. Let's do that first. Royal blue it was, wasn't it? There we go. Just one, just so I can finish the painting. Silly. Why did I forget to do that whole window? Don't understand. Still never mind, we're almost there. It would have been nice if I'd done it the first time so I didn't have to buy a whole pot of paint. And one last little bit. There we go, okay, sell off that. I just, I know we're trying to do it for this sort of student but I don't really see what else I can do to push him above the other guy. Short of just accepting his offer. Because they both want pretty much the same stuff. The only thing I could think is maybe... Let me try something. I don't want to do this, but I want to see if that will drop the office guy down. Well, it will give me him, but I'm pretty sure... No, we're not, we're not doing that. We're not putting a TV on the wall, because that doesn't help anyone. Same as speakers, that doesn't help anyone. Got a computer there. A horrible looking computer. Sorry, it's just that off white case is just. I don't know. Is it trying to be like an R2D2 computer? That would be alright, I suppose. Uh, I just want a basic computer monitor. The trouble is, as soon as I do that, that guy's gonna be like, oh, a TV! It's, like, it's not a bloody TV. Yep, here he goes. Oh, a TV! It's not a bloody TV, you idiot. Well, I mean, I suppose, you know, a computer monitor is pretty much nowadays, isn't it? That's what people tend to use it for. Okay, well, we can't have that in here. We can have a fan. That doesn't hurt. put a router on it even though there's no do you know what though people can buy their own uh, their own internet connection it's not up to me is it it's not what I'm here for what else what else is going to be useful for this guy I feel like I've put too many bootcases in I wonder if that's what I've done
He doesn't need as many bookcases as that. I can probably take out... If I take out this bookcase... I was hoping the office guy would drop down. Enough that he would get... But then I'm just selling off stuff that's going to reduce the value, right? There's an unfinished room as well. I don't want to have an unfinished room. Well, what I'm going to do in this room now... Make it like a little TV room. That's what we'll do. We'll make it a little TV room. Not like a big living room or anything, but like a little... He doesn't need a big room like that. I'm not going to end up selling it to the student, I don't think. Right. Oh. Light first, obviously. I know it's not exactly the most exciting ceiling light, but... It doesn't have to be. Pop a radiator on the wall. Just this is a quick room at least, so it's not going to be hard to sort out. And what we'll do, once we've finished and sold this off, we'll have a look at what the next house is. Although we won't make a start on it tonight. Right, so, this is going to be like a little room with a TV in it, not much, just, just enough to have something a bit different. I'll put in, yeah, why not? We'll put in this all the way to there. Immediately that looks a lot a lot better. Just need paint, not gonna put tiles or anything on there. Uh, walls, paint. Let's make a I don't know, let's make it pistachio, just because why not? Besides the fact that it's not the nicest colour in the world. We've done an awful lot of green on the walls. But we did do some blue and some white, so... Representing a variety of colours. I really want to sell it to that student, though. Just a quiet room to study is what he's missing. But it sounds to me like he just wants to study in the bedroom. Which I suppose you know when you're a student and you're renting a room or you're staying in a small place pretty much what you do, right? There we go. And pop that across like so. Ah, there we go. starting to get very uncomfortable. <laughs> We're almost there. We're just going to make this a very quick room. Almost like a quiet contemplation room. Pretty much there. So I've done this. 
There we go, right. So I don't know what we're going to put in here. Because it's looking less and less likely that we're going to be able to sell it to that guy. pop that there. Maybe we can do something with this. I feel like a little foot rest would be good. Doesn't really fit in with the design of that, but it's good enough for what I want it to be. Uh, tables. This stage is just like, well, what can I put in here? Do. Ideally, stick that there. Uh, we might put another bookshelf in here just because I know it's just gonna. It's just gonna attract that guy, but I don't really think we've got any choice in the matter. I think he's gonna take it regardless. Not all of his documents will fit there. Well, that's a shame. I was not wanting to sell it to you, but now I don't have any choice, so I think it is going to have to be him now. Hmm. Needs to move across one space. All right, moving forward. That's the boy. Come on. Perfect. That'll do. I feel like I want something on the wall. I wonder if that'll make any difference to anything. Stick one of them on the wall. And maybe... I always go with the owl. But there is a reason for that, which is it's... What if I put this up? Well, apparently she likes that too. The art woman. I feel like there must be something else we can do here. Oh yeah, I was going to put a... Oh yeah, that's a good point. A TV stand. I think they're under cupboards. That one's not going to work in the space that we've got, I don't think. obviously too wide for that space. Uh, it would probably have gone there, but I just think it's a bit much. To be honest, I think that's just a bit much. For this small space. In fact, why am I even doing that? I can just go... Electronic equipment. Home electronics. Wall mounted TV. Ah! That's why I can't have a wall-mounted TV. Although I could... Uh... If I sell that, that might be enough space. Have I missed out anything that I should have put in these rooms? I don't know. I've turned it upside down. There we go. And we'll pop a 
speaker in the room as well, I think. Right, I'm just going to try and sell it because I can't think what else to do. I've got a horrible feeling this isn't going to go well. Let's find out. There isn't a bathtub. What are you talking about? He says there's a bathtub, but there isn't. Do you know what? Maybe I'll just accept his offer. Because it is the right house for him. We didn't make as much profit on that one. As we have done on others. That is a bit of a downside. But, we have made enough profit on others that we should be alright to... Buy the next one. Home Admin Legends. Why do I not like the sound of that? Right, we're going to buy this house. We'll have a quick look at it. And that's going to be where we finish up. For the day. Let's have a look at how bad it is. We're not, we won't start the cleaning up or playing around or anything like that just yet. So the house we've got is... Pretty standard shape, rectangular, with only a front door, no back door. If we go in, we've got... Oh, th this is ideal for the guy that wants an office, isn't it? Monitors, he's got... Wait a minute. That's way bigger than the one we usually put up. Way bigger. What else do we have? Bathroom. Not a bad bathroom size. And then we've got a little kitchen counter space there. That layout is all, all in all not that bad really. For an office type guy. Or... I don't even... I don't even mind the paint job to be honest. Or the lights, I think the lights are okay. Stuff that's not great is everything that's all over there, the cockroaches and the trash, but I don't think there's an awful lot that needs done in here. Well, except for fixing that, bloody hell. So we don't get a huge mess on our floor. Have all the radiators got that problem? Something's got that problem. Or maybe it's just the noise of the... the uh... Hey look, all of these are like that. I'm just going to fix them for the moment, just because I'd rather they weren't... leaking. Well, obviously they are. So no heating required in that room. It would be a bit lazy to just leave it like it is though, wouldn't it? But a lot of it's not that bad. Like it just needs cleaning. Well, okay. We'll definitely take a look at that. Okay then guys, so for now that's going to be where we stop. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed me putting that house together. It's just a pity that... Uh, I didn't make as much profit as maybe some of the others have. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, as I say. If you have, please feel free to uh, add a follow there on Mixer if you're watching here. Uh, or, if you're on YouTube, please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription too if you like. And I'll see you next time.